with the director Chad Stahelski was really drawn to the architecture and to the different um, and the architecture and the, and the texture of the city of Manhattan, Brooklyn, um, Long Island, just the variety, the history, the shapes. Um, and in a way, I think you can believe that there is a continental in New York City. It felt like an organic thing that this might actually be real. Absolutely. Yeah, it brings back some memories. We had a, you can't see it, but all over there was a huge gun scene battle. Um, and uh, yeah, I mean, it's a spectacular space. So what do we have? We have Angelica Houston as the director, a place that John Wick comes from. Uh, so when we learn a little bit about his past. We have Asia K. Dillon, who works for the High Table as the adjudicator. We have Ali Berry as a character named Sophia in Morocco, who I have her marker, and I ask her for some help, and she has to help me. She has two uh, dogs that get involved in the action. Um, Jerome Flynn is playing someone from the High Table named Parada. We have uh, Bo Bond. Uh, the basketball player is playing Ernest, and it was fantastic. We have Mark DeCascos, who's playing Zero, an assassin, hired by the, the high table. Uh, who else do we got? Angelica, Jason Matsukis, he's playing it all. Lawrence Fishburne's back, Ian McShane's back. Uh, Saeed Takmui, you know, he's playing the elder. There's a, you know, we wanted to really expand the world of the high table. John Wick action. Um, new characters, opening up the world, some of John Wick's past, um, and some humor. So there's like the intensity, the humor. It's a beautiful film. The cinematography, Dan Lausitzen. Um, so it's, it's a ride. It's John Wick. I'm really excited. This is the hotel where it all happens, like right in here. So yeah, I'm excited. And I'm really excited. I think the fans that love the series are going to love this even more. And the ones who maybe aren't aware, I think will be introduced in a really big way. They just better hold on to their seats because it's going to be a ride of their life. Once it starts, you just, you can't look away. You just, you... Because New York City is just a stunning location. You know, there are so many different places to shoot. It's such a treat to be able to take audiences inside the world of New York City, inside the world of John Wick. And, you know, living and working in New York City is such a dream, and I've gotten to do both, not only for Billions, but for John Wick, and so I'm just so grateful, really. Tomorrow we're taking out. It's amazing to be here in the very location we shot, having the red carpet for the premiere. I mean, it's decked out. It looks incredible in here. And to be back here, not as the adjudicator, but as myself, is particularly fun. And, you know, we had such an incredible time making this movie, and we hope the fans love it as much as, as, much as we do. Oh my gosh, this film raises the bar at every level. The action sequences are stunning. This film goes to more locations, not only around the world, but you get um, deeper insight into, into the mythology and the philosophy behind John Wick, which I think, you know, we just uncover more and more layers of this film, so I think for fans, that's going to be great. Because it's Gotham, and it's, um, it's got extraordinary stature, and shadows are long in New York, it's very uh, attractive at night. It has interesting lighting, and it's kind of a profoundly um, strong, strong city, I think. Very built on bedrock, you know. It has all of these elements, masculine elements. Yeah. I think she probably had a little chihuahua under the table or something. <laughs> and Dr. No had that big furry white cat, so I, I'd like to choose a kitty because I like cats a lot, but probably a little a nasty little dog. Um, a lot of excitement, a lot of you know extravagant, uh, beautiful stunt work, uh, some really good laughs. It's funny, um, and you know they get to watch their favorite action hero. Uh, New York City, Brooklyn, you know, all the surrounding areas. 
you know, we wanted a city that felt like it could possess, potentially possess an underworld, and what better city than New York? Um, we're really excited. You know, every movie we got bigger and bigger and bigger with what we could afford to use. Now we have Hanson Place here, which was a fantastic lobby, and that uh, was one of our bigger set pieces in the third act of the film, so hopefully everybody gets to see it after seeing the film, and, and uh, I don't know. Uh, we get to meet Sophia, Ali Berry's character. You get to meet the director, Angelica Houston. You get to meet the adjudicator, Asia Kate Dillon. And you get to meet Mark Dacascus, uh, Zero. Uh, I love them all, but I'm a, just, I'm a big dog guy. So we had five Belgian Malawans. Uh, two are portrayed in the film, but there were five in, in total. And they're all in, in incredibly lovely movies. Well, in and of itself, New York's always been a character in John Wick from the ground up. And what better home and what a better place to actually unveil the third one. We walked in, I didn't know it was going to be here. So to actually see uh, what, came, what came to life, what we saw in that film, is uh, just I, the little 12 year old of me is, is giggling. So it's great. Oh, I take home John's dog. Uh, I mean, I, to be honest, what I love about them is they've got a little bit of humanity to them in the best way. Uh, the best part of a dog that it has to offer, but more importantly, uh, after all, the mayhem, when they see John, they just want to leave him in his lap and leave his face. I mean, that's what I want. It's the, it's the best looking city at night you could ever have. You know, we film it at night, slick down streets, looks great. Um, what else? It's a city everybody wants to come and live in, I guess, apart from London. Too many people in both cities. No, it's great. We love coming back. And um, it's a perfect place to have a, a home for uh, you know, this franchise, which has grown and grown. I mean, from where we started, from downtown and the uh, the Iron Building. What's it called? The shape of the iron? Flat iron. Flat iron, thank you. Then we, that's the basis of the exterior. Then we print, we got this bank, which we are actually in tonight, which is the interior of the hotel, you know. So the hotel has got bigger over the years, which is kind of nice, you know. Well, yeah, because it was, it's a space, you know. I mean, the, the, the designer did phenomenal work in making this extraordinary sort of interior of the hallway and the lobby of the hotel. And we used another few locations to indicate other things, but this is the main building where we build everything. And uh, they'll have a good time, yeah. An old bank, I think, is it? Yeah, it's an old bank, yeah. Good. Well, you've done it tonight, you see. Stained glass window, happy. Would he have a pet? No, he doesn't have any pets. He travels too much. He'd have, a he'd have a tortoise. Tortoise, so he could leave it alone. It'd take an hour to get to him. Or when he kicked it, it would take 20 years to come back in. So what do you... A bigger, better version of one and two, I think. But following the same line. Good story, fantastic action. And uh, all the favorites are back and a few new ones. Like Asian Kate Dillon, Angelica. Hallie, nearly forgot Hallie. Excuse me, sorry, darling. Yeah, she's fabulous. Well, oh, I think it's the perfect place to premiere it just because so much of this city is featured in all of the movies. Like, you're watching at this point, John Wick has traversed most all of the city, both like on the streets and underneath. So, like, what a better, what better place to have it. Well, he does have a talking parrot that we shot a lot of stuff in the movie, but I don't think it's made it into the final cut. But it's, he's got a parrot that says a lot of off color things. Very, uh, audiences, especially if you've seen any of the movies before this, like everybody's going to have their mind blown by this movie. If you've seen the movies, it's going to blow your mind. If you haven't, it's going to double blow your mind. Like these, the, the stuff, everything in this, everything you've gotten accustomed to in the John Wick movies is like just pushed to the next level in this one. It's amazing. You know, it's pretty exciting. It's pretty exciting. A lot of people are insisting that the spin off movie is going to be the TikTok man movie. I can't talk about it. You know, can't talk about it. But, you know, there's a lot of talk. There's a lot of chatter online about it. <laughs> I just want to see the perfect backdrop for the whip world. Well, the first thing that comes to my mind is uh, gritty and sophisticated. Because that's, uh, those are two words that come to my mind when I think of the first film. And that's what I think of when I think of John Wick, and that's definitely New York City. How does the space look at night at that Continental Hotel? It looks fabulous. But then again, I mean, I am the cost here, so that's how I keep it. And yes, I'm very excited for the fans to see this one. I think they're going to love it. I mean, he's so busy taking care of, uh, Jordan's so busy taking care of John's dog. I don't think, you know, he wants an animal that's going to come at a time for the vet. But I think one of the things that Jordan likes to do is he loves to listen to classical music. 
They're gonna find out more about the world of the continental. They're gonna find more, uh, more about the high table, which is the ruling body of the International Guild of Assassins. Uh, and they're gonna find out more about uh, the New York continental specifically. And they may even find out more about me. I think cultural diversity, gender diversity, incredible architecture, you know, lots of people, you know, you can, the ins and outs, the me's, it's just, I mean, all the stories, it's all here. I'm thrilled. You know, um, obviously we, we shot a lot in this location, and especially for the hardcore fans, I, I'm hoping it'll be really nice for them to be in the continent on holy, you know, neutral ground with the characters. Um, I'm excited for them. I'm excited for me to be with them. It was so easy to play because, because I was a fan of John Wick before I was even in John Wick 3. And uh, Mark, you know, I'm a fan of Keanu Reeves. So to see that it's on the page that, that Zero has his admiration and respect for, Ke uh, for, for John Wick, I'm thinking, oh, that's fantastic because I can just like kind of let it out and be me. John Wick 3 has raised the bar even higher in terms of action. We've gone deeper into the story and the culture and the mythology of the Assassin's Guild, of the High Table. Uh, John is even more tired and, and, you know, physically gone through even more, and yet he has to struggle and fight. There is cultural diversity, gender diversity, martial art diversity. It's everything you hope for. New York has so much ingrained history and just so much, there's, there's, a, there's a grit there that's also a little nostalgic too, so it's just like, also it's, it's the backdrop of every possible superhero thing you can think of, and I think like, John Wick is, you know, the newest superhero in so many ways, like I think it's just a phenomenon, the way Batman, the way Superman, the way all of them are, you know, it's just, yeah, I think it's a perfect place for me. It's amazing being in spaces like this because again, it's just like, this is classic New York. And if you want to shoot something as visually exciting and thrilling and also just visceral, you need to shoot it in a real place like this. If my character had a pair, what would it be? Let's see, I mean, my character seems like a gritty guy. It would definitely be some kind of reptile. It would be like, it would be like, yeah, like a lizard or something, yeah, that he would be into, yeah. He has a lot of piercings, so I feel like, yeah, like, the reptile would be where he's going. Or that or like a tarantula or something. With every installment of this, of this franchise, it gets bigger and bigger and more global, and the story gets deeper. In this one, we go to Morocco. It's, you know, it's just a totally change of, 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 uh, of scenery, but also still rooted in New York City for so much of it. Yeah, I just think, I think it's going to blow everybody's minds. New York is just so busy and bustling that you totally buy there could be a secret under society of assassins that nobody else really sees. You know, anything could be behind any door, and it's just the perfect location to kind of blend in. My favorite new character from the franchise is the TikTok man, played by Jason Mantikas, because I'm just a huge fan of comedy, and he's kind of one of my comedy heroes. So I think people are, are really going to be excited about that. I think it just has the perfect mix of like beauty and kind of edge, and I think that that's kind of what. Is about you know all the action sequences and the reason why I'm a part of the film is because I choreographed all the ballet sequences. So I think New York City is kind of the best backdrop for that type of movie. Chad does it to me as a dancer and a choreographer. The best thing is how he just choreographs the action sequences into the movie. They're so well integrated that it just kind of you forget that you're watching a movie and it just kind of like real life. So I think people will enjoy.